Hey there once again, this is Mahindra Raj. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the setup process of MyFitnessPal, the calorie counter app. And um, I'm going to give you a pretty detailed rundown of what you can do with it, what you can track and measure, and all the features available, okay? So listen up. So I'm just going to, so this is the start screen. You would want to sign up, and you can sign up with Facebook, but I usually like to sign up with email instead of giving access to Facebook. And let's just it'll ask you what's your goal. You want to lose weight, maintain weight, you want to gain weight, what is it, right? So let's just say, you know, most people want to lose weight. How much would I like to lose? Okay, I'll just start with one kilo. And um, what's my current activity level? This is like, they're not asking you about your exercise. They're just asking you like, during the larger part of the day, right? Um, w how much activity are you doing? Do you walk around a lot? Do you sit a lot? What is it? So like for me, most of the day, if I'm at home and not exercising, I'm spending a good part of the day on my feet because I'm usually, you know, walking from place to place or something like that, right? So I'll put lightly active and obviously I'm male. Put in your date of birth there and put in your height and weight, current weight. My current weight is 76. I want to go to 75, yeah, for example. And it gives you a recommendation of, okay, losing 0.5 kilos kilograms per week. And of course, you can decrease that. I can put... Uh, I want to lose 0 0.2 kilograms per week. So that's a nice, easy and slow pace, you know, or you can pick a more intense, you know, lose one kilogram per week. That's up to you. All right. Go to next. And here, basically, I'm not going to complete this step because I already have an account. You're going to put in your email address. OK, uh, to register with. You're going to choose a password right there and you're going to pick a username. Okay, it's already recommending a username to me. You can change it and see if it accepts the username of your choice. Otherwise, keep trying one until you uh, it gets accepted. Put in your country and you will click next. Okay, this button next here. So uh, that would set the thing up. Now, once it's set up, I'm just going to fast forward and I'm going to show you what it looks on the it looks like on the inside. So I'm going to log into my account it's logging me in and you'll see some of the stuff I already have set up okay so bear in mind you've already um, selected you would have already selected uh, what your goal is do you want to lose weight maintain or gain weight and how much weight do you want to lose now based on your age based on your um, your current uh, weight right it's going to give you a daily calorie goal that's what it's going to do. It's going to give you a daily calorie goal. And in this case, it's showing me that my daily calorie goal should be 2,690 calories, right? It's saying I should be consuming 2,690 calories per day. For what? That is 260 calories to maintain weight. Now, obviously, if I want to lose weight, I have to consume, eat, less than 2,690 calories per day. And if I keep that up, if I cons consistently consume less than 2,690 calories per day, obviously I'm gonna slowly lose weight, right? If I wanna gain weight, well, obviously I have to exceed 2,690 calories per day. That's, this is just common sense, yes? All right, perfect. So this is the homepage where basically that it's like, you know, it's like a blog, right? It gives you a rundown every day, you enter, it tells you, okay, I've, you know, he's lost 0.8 kilos since his last weigh-in. He's burned 295, 295 calories doing 21 minutes of running, etc., etc. But where you're going to enter all your data is the diary, all right? So I'll show you what, what I had yesterday, right? So this was me yesterday, 2,690 calories, and it's already, it was going to add up all the calories you had. I had 1,900 over calories yesterday. But I also did some exercise which burnt off 487 calories. So it gives me uh, 1,240 calories remaining to meet my daily goal of 2,690. All right. So just to give you a rundown. I had, you know, all, all these items for my breakfast. I had lunch, rice and three veggies. I had dinner and I had a bunch of, you know, good healthy -ish snacks after my uh, rock climbing. And right down here, it says cardio exercise, right? That's, that's me, I entered rock climbing 35 minutes, okay? How do you enter all this stuff? Let me show you, all right? Let's go to today, okay? That was my breakfast, that's my lunch. So let's say I wanna enter a breakfast entry. I would just click 
add food. And these are the ones I've already been entering, so it memorizes that for you. But if you want to search for food, let's say, let's say you had, I had uh, yogurt, right? Yogurt for, for breakfast. I would put in yogurt and click search. And it gives me a whole bunch. Remember I said they're like, they're 5 million over types, 5 million over uh, types of foods and drinks in their database. 5 million, right? So there's almost nothing that isn't here. They got different brands. You can even type in the brand name. You know, uh, what's a yogurt brand name? Yo Play, I believe, all right? And I'll click that. Boom. Yo Play brand, light yogurt, six ounces. Uh, 90 calories, yeah. Uh, whips, mango yogurt, all your play brands, right? So you can type in brand names. You can type in t uh, uh, types of food. I'll, I'll show you how great this is, right? So I'll type in a, a local Malaysian uh, dish, right? Called nasi lemak, and this is a Malay word. It's not even an English word, right? Nasi lemak, and it gives me all so many you know, tens or hundreds of types of nasi lemak, right? This is not all. You could even pick show more results. Isn't that awesome, right? I mean, look at how many types of nasi lemaks they have. So you can see how the possibilities of this are endless, right? And for every one you pick, it'll give you a breakdown of calories. It'll tell you, okay, what's the serving size? One portion, a number of servings, okay? Did you have two portions? Do you have three portions? Okay, you don't change the number. Okay, and it tells you all the nutritional uh, values there. So that's how you enter anything, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. All right, and even snacks. You know, snacks. You can, um, you know, like you could put in like Mars, right? Mars bar. Um, if you ever <laughs> do have a Mars bar, you put in Mars bar. And it's going to search and say, okay, Mars Mini, 18 grams, 80, 80 calories, right? Or Mars, um, Mars uh, Malt Teasers, right? 19.5 grams, 98 calories. So you just simply select the one you had, you consumed. Now, <clears throat> what else can you do? <clears throat> well, you can view the nutrition for that day in a chart form of a breakdown. You can... Enter notes, food notes or exercise notes during for that day. And you can also uh, click complete entry. But here's, you see this plus button right here. If you click on this plus button, you can either type a status, which goes to the home page, or you can uh, even include water. I don't bother with water. You can say how many cups of water you had per day. I drink a lot of water. Um, or you can even put the food in this way, right? But these tabs here are faster, all right? So um, you can enter the exercise. This is the one I do, right? So you put in exercise. Again, this is something you can search for. So let's search for something I do, rock climbing. Okay, click search, and it tells you rock climbing ascending or rock climbing repelling, right? That's descending with rope. So I put rock climbing ascending, minutes performed. Type in how many minutes you did rock climbing for, okay? So if I put 30, it calculates as 417 calories burnt, all right? Following so far? Awesome, awesome. You can even type in things like yoga. There are different types of yoga. Okay, stretching, hatha yoga. Minutes perform, say 60 minutes. You burn 189 calories. Isn't that great? I mean, this is so detailed. It's, it's, it's amazing. All right, let's go back. Let's say we pick an uh, exercise strength. So let's type, let's try yoga again. Let's see what it comes up with. Is it going to be different? Okay, it doesn't say there are any results because it considers yoga as a cardio form. But what about rock climbing? Let's say no results. Okay, so rock climbing and yoga fall under cardio. So this would be like something like maybe gym, climbing in, oh, climbing in gym. There you go. All right, so you can, you know, you can do all these things. You can say, um, let's type biceps. Let's try that. There you go. Different types of bicep exercise, bicep curls, seated biceps curls, whatever you want, whatever you do, just type it in, search, it'll find something for you. All right, and you can track your weight. How do you track your weight? You click this button over here 
And let's say today I hit 75 kilos. I would put in 75 kilos right there and click enter. Now, once I do that, all right, it is transferred to the progress page right there. So you see all these bunch of entries. I've started recording it since 27 December last year. And the last one I put in was 27 February, 75 kilos. Obviously, that's not my weight today, so I'm going to delete it by sliding left and pressing delete. But this graph, it says weight up here, but you can change it. You can even uh, keep track of your hips, <laughs> hips uh, measurement, your waist measurement, your neck measurement, uh, the number of steps you walk a day, right? So I'll put weight and it, you can show over the six month period, the graph, but because I've only started measuring for about two months, I'm going to show you, um, let's see, see three months, I didn't start yet. So I've been measuring it since two months. So two months ago, I was at 79 odd, 79 plus kilos. And today, uh, now I'm about 76 kilos. So it gives you this graph, all right? And you also got this more tab where you got a bunch of things you can explore and, and search around with. You got a profile, obviously, right? Which is that page earlier. Uh, you can enter different goals you have, the original goals where my weight goals are up there. You can enter nutrition goals, workouts per week. Um, you can also check on the nutrition, which we already saw earlier, right? You can enter specific recipes and types of foods you want. You can enter it here by clicking, um, by clicking this plus button, right? You can add from web or you can enter your ingredients manually if you know what they are, okay? And there's also a blog you can go to where they give you, you know, different types of recipes you can try out and uh, the likes of that. There's also community, right? Where you can go and you can create your own community. You can even enter your own friends. You can add your friends here. So each of you, you and your friends, you, can, you know, you can keep each other uh, accountable to your goals, your weight loss and stuff like that. You know, it can be a friendly competition if you want. Their messages. And the best part about this is also you can connect other apps that you might be using to MyFitnessPal. So for example, another really great app which I use is MapMyRun. And I use MapMyRun, obviously, to track all my runs and uh, walks or anything like that. So let's say I go for a run with MapMyRun. Once the workout is complete or the run is complete, all I got to do with while map my run is open, I would open my fitness pal and the information, the calorie burn and all that information will automatically be transferred to my fitness pal. So I don't have to uh, enter that information again. OK, so to connect map my run, you would just click the connect button and it would connect to map my run. All right. So all this makes sense, right? It's pretty intuitive. You can change the settings if you want. And um, that's about it. And there's also a help tab. So every evening, um, all, you know what, every time I open this app, I usually, you know, so I'll enter my data on the diary. And before I kind of close this page, before I exit this page, what I like to do is I like to go to the more tab and I scroll down and you see the sync where it says sync and it says the last sync was at uh, 7 14 PM. What I would do, is I would click the sync button, it'll say sync in progress, and at some point it'll say sync complete. I like to do that because every time you enter information here, it's gonna sync with their server, with their database, so that no matter what device, whether it's another iPhone or it's another iPad, I access or open my fitness pal on, all the information is updated. To the latest I entered earlier. Does that make sense? Because I got you know a couple of iPhones, I got an iPad, so I might choose to enter this information on you know any particular device at any particular time. So you always want to make sure that the information is synced. Okay. Now, so that's pretty much a rundown of uh, my fitness pal. I hope that's useful to you. Go ahead and start using it. Start tracking everything. And remember, the most powerful feature. Um, an ability that this app has or gives you is that 5 million over types of foods in its database. Okay, really take advantage of that. Um, you know, just search literally, just type in anything in the search bar and you will see how <laughs> anything you type will be there. All right, go ahead and try that out. I hope this has been helpful for you. 
uh, thanks for dropping by thanks for watching this video and uh, happy losing weight or gaining weight or getting healthier okay to an extraordinary quality of life for you and your family bye bye now